special atmosphere, like everything is yeah, more like, like it was in traditional China. When Xizhou buy locals, they see that a foreigner has treasured their culture, their history that much. My name is Brian Linden. I come from Chicago in the United States. In 2004, my wife and two children and I decided to return to China. And our goal was really to add a narrative to what the outside world was hearing about China. Our idea was that in some way, um, the focus was so much on the incredible economic changes that were occurring in China, but sometimes overlooking the cultural richness of this country. The villagers were always very, very receptive to us. I think that that's the main reason we chose Xizhou for our first site. This is something that a local Taoist priest would have used, all hand-painted. This is to something even like during the Mingguo period. When we took over these, these historic buildings, we knew that we would never be able to inject the kind of comfort or luxury that would make them appealing to maybe visitors who are solely pursuing luxury. It was very hard because these are old buildings. They're um, heritage, protected buildings. And our goal was more to protect them for future generations than to really exploit them for immediate gains. Somehow the atmosphere you have in these old buildings, I think you feel like people lived here or used to yes, live here yes. 100, 200 years ago. So that's one thing. The other one is also to watch the landscape. It's beautiful. Huh? So the fields outside, the mountains in the background, so really, really nice. Many foreigners come to Xizhou and to the Linden Center. Some of them, the most common response is they would say, ah, I, can, I finally see the China that I imagined. Which doesn't mean a poor China, it doesn't mean anything like that. But it's a China of this cultural richness. They see people, they see these buildings that are incredible. They still see people respect, showing some of these traditions, like sending um, like funeral traditions, wedding traditions. They see all of these things that really mark China's history and really are incredible examples of, of the richness of this, of this 5,000 year old culture. And I think that sometimes in the big cities, they don't see that. So for many of them, they are really happy when they come to a place like this. I will remind them about the local crafts, about the zara, the tie-dye, the local woodblock printmaking, the felt making, the wood carving. And these are the things that really seem to resonate with a lot of those visitors. My goal, I believe, is in some way, I try to share every morning at breakfast with all our guests. I will ask them how their day went the day before and how their day, what will they plan to do that day. I think Shanghai is very fast paced, so the people are impatient. I think here it's a bit more relaxed. Um, the other one, Shanghai, most of the city now, modern architecture. Um, here you come, it's more this old city, it's a feeling like you are maybe a century back. The Shansun Jinxin, the rural revitalization, this project, um, we've just been honored to really be a part of it and to have experienced this, including the poverty alleviation project of the last decade. 
The Linden Center hosts around 30,000 tourists every year, and I think that can help some part with Shizhou's economy and tourism, and also around, I think, about 80% of the staff we hire are from local. And what I believe that does is it really gives the young people um, this, it empowers them to dream larger, to dream bigger to look at the whole China, to look at the whole world as a potential platform upon which they can express themselves. Um, I feel that we need to have common people, people like us, telling stories about real China. I still am honored to be a part of the Xizhou community. I'm honored to be a part of China. And I wanna share these stories. So I feel the next 10 years, that initial mission and our role is still very, very important. And we're excited to continue to do this. We in no way ever think about giving up and we never will leave China as long as the Chinese people welcome us.